As you can see, we're not in the shed anymore, it's gone. <laughs> well, it's still there, the shell is still there. The shell of the shed? Yeah, that's right, the shell of the shed is still there. But the spirit of the shed is alive and well, and we are here in my record room and we'll be here in the shop for exactly. a while, yeah. Quite a while, yeah. So, yeah. But the music's still good, and we're starting with... Oh, this is Johnny Adams, Who's Gonna Love You on Rick Records. Yes, it is, it is, yeah. Nice little 45, it's very nice indeed. Yeah, no idea where I got it, but it's nice. I reckon you got it in the States, maybe. Yeah, maybe. maybe. So. Yeah. Yeah. We've got some interesting stuff today. We have stuff. Chris has bought some quite new bits with it as well. I have, I am. Um... But at the moment, all of all of the records are in storage. But I managed to keep hold of my seven. They're all on the top of a wardrobe in my room and somewhere else, dotted around the house, out of tiny fingers' reach. Um, but yeah, so I think predominantly, I think I own sevens for the foreseeable future. But um, yeah, should say this wonderful thing came to me today. Mr. DJ Fingers, uh, this new Super Rock Down CD, it is fucking fantastic, it is so, so good. So big up to Mark Courtney and Fingers for actually getting this out on uh, B-Boy Documents. It is so good. Brad hasn't heard it yet. He will love it, but he does. It is boogie, cut up by Mr. Fingers himself. It is brilliant. It is so I've heard it because it's literally stuck in his car. It's still in my car, that's right, yeah. It's so good. Really good, really happy. Right? So, anywho, uh, let's move on to a 45 that I've had forever. But I don't think we played it on the show. So, here's a bit of uh, who is it? It's Red to Hughes. So it's swirling around, but let me see if I can get it. It's uh, you're doing it with her when you should be with me. So the message is clear there. That, uh, basically, um, Mr. Hughes has not been somebody else. Yes, he is. Uh, yes, he was. Or maybe he was. Uh, did you know, well, maybe she was paranoid. Maybe she was paranoid. Do you know what I mean? Maybe there was a reason that she was paranoid. Maybe that. Maybe he had. Maybe that's right. Yeah. Anyway, killer tune on uh, Tetra Mag oh, Tetra Magamaton Records. Who the hell thought up a record label? I know. We'll that's call it the Tetra Magamaton. Yeah. Do <laughs> you know uh, Deep Purple were on this label in the States? Oh, okay. There you go. Anyway, can I tune this? Ragged tune. Yeah. Um, if you picked up that beat tape, yeah, I don't think there's one or two left um, on uh, the wonderful label that is Munch. Totally. Uh, see, there's a, um, a reissue or a pressing on a new record by Justice and Mercy. That's right, yeah. Uh, which I've bought. Have you? Yeah, I've bought it, mate. Oh, I think I need to get one as well. Oh. It's only because Brad Lutz holding it all. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm going to get it because I think it'd be a nice fit. That's right. Brad's got his glow sticks ready and his uh, smiley face t shirt. Anything anyway. that comes out of that posh shell in the back of Tony's garden is a good thing. It's true. It's true. Yeah. Anyway, next up we have got, uh, this is a nice little one, uh, I believe. Unusual. Which one is it? Glass doesn't blow as high as the tree. By oh, Beverly Wright. And it's kind of pop folky sort of stuff. Great little intro to this. Yeah, I like the intro. Love this sort of thing. Lovely. Wispy and interesting. Rolling around in a field with you. It's like a soft focus montage from a 60s movie, isn't it? It really is, Brad, I have to say. It's spot on there. I really like it, it's great. I love it. Yeah. It's one of those things that I remember, I remember finding this. I remember thinking, I do like it, but I'm never going to play it anywhere. And it's one of those things that said, no, but you still got to have it. You're not going to hear it ever again. It's true, and, 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 yeah, and that's my philosophy as well. You don't know, I. Uh, I don't get rid of stuff just because I'm not going to play it somehow. I'm just going to give it a bit of a look into it anymore, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. Lovely. Really it's, nice. It's unusual and cool, I think. Brilliant. The music's awesome. Yeah. Have you got anything else to shout out? Sure, we probably do. 
I just can't actually think of anything, honestly, I'm still moving stuff out of the shed. It's, uh, it's empty now, but there's two other sheds either side of it that I had to clear out today, so... Mr Hicks and Mr Barber have another gig going. They do, they do. Although I think their last one at the camp, camp might have been cancelled, I think. Oh, really? I got an invite to one recently, yeah, last yeah. night or something like that. Yeah, we, we actually we were going to go up to the Digger's Dozen, which was on the Thursday last week with uh, Mr. Holly Tingra and uh, Johnny Cooper from Soundside. DJ Philip was there, Mr. Philip was there, obviously Maxwell was there. And obviously it was a brilliant night, but the shed, I'm afraid, came first. Sorry, it's been a good one for us to go to. It would, it would. Yeah, but the, um, yeah, Mr. Higgs and Mr. Mark, I'm sure, next month, Big Daddy K. Oh, yeah. There's always a pretty much that's going to be again. If you've ever seen the man himself, as you know, we've been a few times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today. Totally. Yeah. Oh, great trip. Anyway, this next one, oh, I love. Dad you know, just gave it to me, and then he gave it to me because he's such a lovely chap. And it's right up my Alamantry, I tell you. Anyway, I believe it's called uh, Wish You Were Here by Free Life. Yes. Club Soul for Chris. Oh yeah. Yeah, I was having a bit of a clear out because I've got loads of shit uh, that I was trying to get through, and uh, literally loads of shit records. I mean, and, uh, and I pulled this out, and I thought Chris is gonna love that. <laughs> and I do. I really like this. This is my song of the week. I reckon. He will listen to this all the way home, man. He'll be on the turntable in his car, and he'll get home. Oh, well, have you got what you're doing? Where's your turntable at the moment? For months. So you can't listen to records at home? I've got a portable. Oh, of course. I've got a portable, so I can't listen to stuff. And in the shop? <laughs> in the shop, I can listen to stuff in the shop as well, but yeah, that's how it's with my mum. Yeah. Record, records are between Luton and Ealing Broadway. All over. All over. And, um, yeah, some other stuff somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, if you're the type of guy that likes to walk around with all his shirt buttons open and stare from a distance at ladies. <laughs> I do, but I'll scare them off by having a yeah. shirt. I, I like it. Fingering my belly button. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this is great. I'm a stranger. But the next track is excellent. Chris right. is it from Australia. Yeah, well, I have to actually give a big up thanks to Andy Higgs about this because he, uh, he's such a gentleman. He always sends me little sort of like um, links for things that you can buy. And uh, he sent me the link to this and I bought it straight away and it's great. You can really see it. But it's called, it's by the Let Your Hair Down Girls and Who's Your Deaf Cat. And it's great. It's really good. Both sides are good. But uh, we're going to go with the Abuja Death Cab anyway. Where's it going to go? Where's it going to go? First I was afraid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very clever this. Great this is uh, on Northside Records, which is Northside Records over in Melbourne. Uh, Northside Chris, I believe, he still works here as well. Yeah, very nice guy. Never going in there. I don't know, 13, 14 years ago, and he sorted me out with some rhyming records. I have to say, so yeah, nice guy. Visual pickup, you know, my boozy weighs a ton because it's outside. Because they're gone. <laughs> gone. They're gone. Yeah. Um, yeah, and the, uh, what was the other one that I was going to mention, Chris? I don't know. I can't remember, I can't remember in a second, yeah. Did you all manage to watch uh, John uh, Carpenter interview last week as well? Yeah, I mean, lovely guy. Obviously, he really was a lovely guy. I mean, I mean watching, watching it back, I mean, he really was just a very nice, down to earth, funny guy. Yeah. You know? yeah. So, yeah. 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 Bit of a different show, but, you know. Unusual. Yeah, totally. We did intend to do some drop up tracks other side than that with the shed moving and everything like that and in time and things like that just become impossible. I thought well, we've got to get it up. So totally. time to get it up. How good is this, man? Yeah, very nice. Yeah. 
Next, we've got a lovely bit of jazz that puts it all on. Uh, jazz hip hop. Jazz from hip -hop. our lovely people down at uh, Village Live Records. Uh, and this is Gas Lab Fusion. And it's a killer, killer album, I have to say. So, big thanks uh, for this one. Um, yeah, I think, I think we're going to go with the second show, which is always featuring Mocker only and one clapping back. Oh, no, that's a brilliant name. Anyway, check this out. <clears throat> yeah, I have to say I'm uh, quite astounded by the quality of some of the stuff that's been coming out these last couple of years, and this is no exception at all. Especially after the stuff that Tony played when he came in a couple yeah. of weeks ago, um, which I've snapped up those albums as well. But this is much in the same vein, but there's some, yeah, really, really like this, I have to say. Really cool. Whilst I am, please don't sort of have a picture of me on the front. <laughs> I don't wear glasses. That's true. Check it out. Gotta appreciate the jazz. It's all that ever moved me since I first took a splash. And the second side is seems to be more uh, Argentinian uh, sort of or Brazilian, all sorts of sort of like uh, artists, so, but it's really good, really does, I hope it really does well, I have to say. Yeah, it came out literally just a few days ago, it's the March, it's available on vinyl, Gazette, and all major digital outlets, yeah. Village Live, Rebel.com, and there's a lovely guy standing right. Yeah. yeah, really cool, I have to say, really good. Now, next up, we got these. Incredibly cheeky chappies, the gate crashes. Now, I love this, I think there's only 200 of these as well, so please get one if you haven't already. I have to say, I've got a smile on my face, and I have done since, since actually getting this out, but I love it. But we're going to go with the one where they've got a really cool video, two, three, run and run and run. Never find the more wretched hive of scum and villain. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> wicked. Love this. Really, really cool. Yeah, this is two free break. Just went down the show. All of a sudden, Jack Diggs. G bag. G bag. Love it. If you're wondering where you can go to get great records, there's a way you can come to the Shed Shop. Just got to the South Bound Piccadilly Line Station, um, where you'll see most of the famous people. They really come in to make their music videos. Well, that's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there's, there's going to be a music video very soon being done in the shop. So, uh, yeah, can't wait for that, Jake. Yeah, it's going to be good. Yeah, Mondays and Saturdays, tennis until Friday. Come down, come down, buy some bargains. Yeah, yeah, please do. I have to say, it's been very busy recently. And when it's busy, it means you can get more records in, you know what I mean? And I'm going to go and pick up a load tomorrow, actually, from our lovely Mr. Dan Underground from King Underground. I've been looking for so there you go. Yeah, love this. Great album. Anyway. Moving on to our break of the week, and it's just one of those ones that's eluded me for years and years. And for ages, I didn't actually know what the break was, or who actually did it. Either way, it's a cheapie, but it's very good, and it's grab it by the Olympic runners. Yeah, and you kind of know exactly, even though the breakers have come in, you know what the break's going to be. So I think Sugar Bear, ready to penetrate, and uh, you'll be right. <laughs> but, uh, ready to penetrate. Yeah. But, um, but yes, uh, as I say, please get the uh, Super Rockdown CD. Now me and Brad have been toying with the fact that obviously the show's going to be five years old next month. Five years old. Five years old. So in May, we're considering doing a fifth year anniversary party. We are. Shindig. And um, you know, it's the preliminary talks at the moment, but what do you reckon? Would you come? Because um, I know we did one for a hundred, didn't we? Yes, we did. And uh, it was great. You know, yeah, MCM fun. turned up, Ollie was there, Andy Heath was there. Yeah, we've already had three times. 
DJ Fingers has said yes, so I'm hoping that's going to be a bit of a draw and uh, see who else we can get. It'd be nice to get people that obviously sort of like been in the shed or in the bed in the shed yeah. chunks. I'm sure I'll be shed chunks, Mr. Justice, <laughs> yeah. so, uh, you know, MCM. If I win the lottery, yeah. I'll fly cash money over to fucking play as well. <laughs> but you know what, he's going to be in the country this year, so we, maybe we could do it. So oh, maybe, imagine yeah. that. Fingers, yeah. cash money, supreme. Thing format, oh, yeah, we are going to celebrate in style and uh, right. fur coats, yeah. diamond shoes, a lot. Yep, that's it. But we're also obviously going to have the uh, Big Daddy Kane uh, gig um, and we're going to have the format gig as well. Totally. Yeah. Format and abs, if you haven't put tickets on that shows yet, make sure you do. Break. French TV show, I would have thought. And the track is by Georges Rowdy and it's called Sturcock. Is that the one? Yeah. Sturcock. <laughs> was it that Eddie Murphy? Was I going to stir it for you? No, that's not it. Anyway, this is our theme of the week. Yeah. So this is Sturcock. <laughs> Is it actually called that? S T E R. Oh, I've never read it. Cock. It's sat in a box in here since I bought it. And is it? It doesn't Stur say it on. It doesn't it's, say it on here, but it's a graphic. Oh, it's a stir cock. Well, it's from the television program Ars and Lupin. That means Ars has gone loopy. Ah. Stir cock means maybe stirring some chicken soup. Oh, maybe, yeah. Maybe, yeah. Cracker though. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's an absolute really cracker. Nice. I don't know, I'm gonna check the show out now. Yeah, yeah. I mean me and Brad regularly cut some rugs to this. We do. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Anyway, make sure you go down to the shed shop, South Barra. Yes. Say hello. And um, uh, but make sure you check out the shed beats number two if you haven't yet. Make sure you That's do right. that. And, Please uh, do get this because it is super good. Honestly, I'm really enjoying listening to it. If you've ever seen Fingers play, you know that he's just very clinical and precise and it, this is just some serious old school boogie hip hopery in its finest. So there you go. So it is. Yeah. Cool. And uh, we'll catch you next week. We haven't had, we're gonna have, we've had lots of interviews lately. We have a little bit of a break for a while. We've got a few lined up. We will be talking to Format and Absent and maybe. Yeah. Definitely Format. The, um, about the new album and the upcoming tour soon and we've probably got a few other interviews we're going to get. We do, well. I don't know if I can remember, but yes, yes, yes. I'm sure we do, yeah. But yeah, we'll catch you next week. Bye-bye.